Padre Pio was one of the greatest saints of the 20th century, a devoted priest, a miracle worker, and a fighter of demons. He touched so many lives that a hundred thousand people attended his funeral. But did you know that he had a mystical vision in the final moments before his death? After barely making it through the Mass on September 22, 1968, the 81-year-old saint almost collapsed as he left the church. A group of his fellow Franciscan brothers helped him and laid him on his bed just after midnight. On the 23rd, he made his final confession and renewed his Franciscan vows. He was so weak that he could barely speak, but he was able to repeat the words, Jesus, Mary, as he held a rosary. Then suddenly, around 2.30, he became a bit more animated. The saint, who had so many supernatural experiences during his life, appeared to be seeing something even though no one around him saw anything special. He managed to say, I see two mothers, and then whispered, Mary, and then he passed away. What exactly did he see? As for the two mothers, there are only a few possibilities. He could have meant that he was seeing his spiritual mother, Mary, the mother of God, and his biological mother. The church is also considered a mother, although it's not clear how this could have been manifested. And while it might seem obvious that his last word, Mary, referred to the Blessed Virgin, even his biological mother was named Maria, so it could have referred to her. But another mystic might shed light on who Padre Pio actually saw during his final moments. Let me tell you about Sister Rita Montella, a mystic nun, stigmatist, and Augustinian, the same nun believed to have kidnapped Ali Agka, the man responsible for the attempted assassination of Pope John Paul II. But Sister Rita was an intimate companion of San Padre Pio and had assisted him many times through by location. Padre Pio even called her Bambina, which means child. According to a written testimony, Sister Rita is believed to have assisted Padre Pio in bilocation during his last agony on September 23, 1968. She said that at the moment of his passing, the Virgin Mary, St. Francis, and St. Clair were present in his room. Therefore, it's clear that the name, Maria, spoken by Padre Pio could have referred to the Virgin Mary. In both cases, it seems fitting that a man whose life was filled with supernatural events would end his earthly life with a mystical vision. In addition to his mystical experiences, San Padre Pio's celebration of the Mass was legendary. Many people have recounted that it could last up to three hours. For Padre Pio, the Mass involved his entire being. It was the high point of his day and the source of his strength. He began his day at 3.30 rising to begin his preparations for the Mass, which wouldn't start until 5.30. He spent his time in meditation and prayer, preparing his heart for the Mass. When the time came for Padre Pio to celebrate the Mass, he did so with great emotion and a full awareness of what he was doing. He was able to enter into the Passion of Christ every time he celebrated the Mass. With this in mind, it should come as no surprise that Padre Pio was very emotional during the Mass, often visibly shedding tears. His face was deathly pale, radiant, and sometimes wet with tears. There was an intensity to him. Painful contractions of his body, deep, silent sobs occasionally shook him. Everything about him showed how intensely he was living the Passion of Christ. It gave the impression that space and time had been erased between the altar and the hill of Calvary. Another reason for the length of Pio's Mass was his attention to detail in every rubric. He felt as if he were meditating on every word and being carried away by every action of the ritual that he read with emotion in a low and almost tired voice, pronouncing each word distinctly. The consecration was a highlight of the Mass for Padre Pio, and it was noted that Padre Pio seemed to spend from 10 to 15 minutes adoring the consecrated bread and wine. Later in his life, San Padre Pio was not able to sustain a long Mass, and his Masses lasted only about an hour. San Padre Pio reminds us that the Mass is much more than the eye can see and is meant to carry us to Calvary, where we meet Jesus Christ our Lord. San Padre Pio also witnessed many evils during his life, 
living through both world wars and seeing the great violence and hatred in the hearts of many people in Europe. In the face of such deep evil, Padre Pio had only one weapon. He once said, Some people are so foolish that they think they can deal with life without the help of the Madonna. Love the Madonna and pray the rosary for her. The rosary is the weapon against the evils of the world today. San Padre Pio, pray for us.